From Transformers 1, this is the Iacon Raceway 3-pack that has three one-step changers that are all from Cyberverse. So, we have a Megatron and an Optimus. Both of these are heavily remolded from the original one-step changers from Cyberverse. As for Mirage, that's Blur with a new paint job. You look down here, yeah, Mirage looks more like Blur. I'm not too sure why he's not just Blur, but in any case, all three of them look pretty solid in the box. Here they are on the side. Here they are on the back. Honestly, Mirage probably looks the best here. Love the colors. Optimus looks fine. Megatron looks pretty good too, actually. And then you just have the stuff here on the side. It's kind of cool. I've never noticed this render on the top of the boxes before. Um, yeah, a bit strange, but it looks like it's going to be a decent enough three pack. So why don't we pop them open? As we look at these three, I want you to know, I personally consider R.I.D. 2015 and Cyberverse to have the best one-step changers of all time. The figures were typically articulated, they had good paint, and pretty clever transformations. Megatron and Optimus were not amongst those figures. Blur was getting there. I do think he works better as Mirage, I love the color scheme here, but overall, when it comes to vehicle modes, I do think that Mirage and Megatron look good, Optimus a touch rough. We've been able to get a couple of Transformers 1 Orion Pexes at this point. There's the truck front, not a lot of paint, he has a hard time actually sticking his legs together in the back. The axe can't really go anywhere unless you just send it further down or a little bit up. You can't fold it away to get out of the way. If we try that, then we're not going to actually be able to transform him back properly. It's a bit strange overall, but to activate his transformation, we're just going to boop, pop out the arms and flips everything around. In robot mode, I think this looks all right. It doesn't look anything like Transformers 1 Optimus, but it's a decent Optimus. And you have articulation in the arms. You actually have a good swivel up and down. That's it. Nothing... Oh, wait, no. Swivel in the head, too. All right. You know, my big complaint with a lot of one-step changers is that they've gutted any articulation they get. But thankfully, because these are older molds, they can still at least move arms and heads. I do think that helps these figures really feel a lot better than they could otherwise. And here's what made me really sad. Um, this figure, when it originally came out, would have been about $6. One step changers nowadays are 10 bucks. Yeah. Looking at Megatron next, and I love this tank mode, man. The only thing they've done is they added the front because the Transformers 1 tank mode does have more angular treads. But it's a good-looking tank still. I like it a lot. Now, to transform him, we're going to stick him up, basically, because, look, there's not a lot that's going to happen. You hit this trigger here, and that's how we get the head up. So, not the most interesting of transformations, but it's a very powerful-looking robot mode. And guess what? Boop. We actually still have good articulation in the arms, shoulders up and down. My one issue is his head doesn't really lock in. But it's a good head sculpt. It's a good design. It's just Cyberverse Megatron, already one of the better, more universal Megatron designs. I say universal just because I don't want to call him generic. So I think overall, it's a good Megatron, even if it's not really the Transformers 1 Megs. And then we have Mirage. I feel like I need to say this now. I don't think Mirage is going to be in Transformers 1. If he is, it's going to be a cameo. I think this is here just because they had the mold kicking around. But it is the original Blur mold. When it came out before, it would have all basically just been unpainted blue. I do like all the white and gray plus they put in just to break it up. To transform him, you more or less just start shimmying things up. Just keep shimmying that nose all the way in. We fold the feet down, and boom, we have Mirage. Just like the other two, he does have articulated arms. Boy, those arms are weedy. Look at that. But there's a good figure here. Good proportions, great colors, a really nice head. I quite like this Mirage. I can really say that for all three of them. They have decent paint, at least in robot mode, and the head sculpts all are really good. I do think Optimus is the weakest out of the three, but Megatron and Mirage specifically, they're just good little pocket money toys. And it makes me sad because it reminds me of just how good the one-step changers were. I still like them nowadays, but they don't hold a candle to these guys. To transform them back, we'll take it one at a time. For Mirage, you gotta fold the feet back down, grab that nose cone, and just pull it out again. Boop. Good looking car. Really like it. As for Megatron, fold the arms in, fold the tank back down, 
boop and there and then for optimus we just take him and start shoving him down basically boop ah, his arms got stuck there we are again i do think optimus is the weakest here in conversion i think he's the weakest in vehicle mode i think he's the weakest with paint I think that if you buy this pack, it's really just to get this Megatron and Mirage. They're both really good one-step changers. Optimus is just kind of there. And here's all the Transformer one-step changers I currently own. I still don't have Bumblebee, and I don't think I want him. I will say, we have a one-step changer Optimus, Megatron, and Sentinel on the way. They're going to be the proper cog changers that's going to have the gimmick where you have to flip up the panel to transform them. But this is currently the only Mirage in Transformers 1. I don't see that changing. It's probably going to remain the only Mirage in Transformers 1. I do think the 3-pack is worth it, though. It is around 25 bucks. I know for some place it was going for 30 My target had it for 25 And either way, you're getting three once-up changers at the price three of them would be at retail, but they're all much larger and more fully featured than the once-up changers you can currently get at retail. I think it's a great little three pack, especially if you're like me and you enjoy more clever gimmick toys, or if you have a young Transformers fan in your life, it'd be a pretty decent birthday gift or holidays, you know, I'm just trying to think. Of course, these things are not made for adult collectors, but I still think that for what they are, Mirage, Megatron, and Optimus can all hold their heads up high because they're pretty solid.